Never before have fossil fuels been more obsolete than they are today. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. So a big welcome to everyone, all the new subscribers, but welcome back everyone else. It's great to have you guys. And thank you so much for the milestone we just achieved. Just hit 100 million views over the past two years. So thank you guys. I really appreciate your support. And it really says a lot because people are focusing so much now on new technology, on you know, moving away from the past, which is so old school, coal and gas and gasoline, petrol, diesel. It just, you know, things needed to change. And people are so interested in what's happening in the future. And we're, we're here. We're, the future is here now. And what that means is that renewable energy is already cheaper, significantly cheaper by a wide margin than fossil fuels. In fact, fossil fuels are now officially obsolete. Solar has come down in price by 93% over the past 11 years, 93%. I just made a video yesterday showing new solar panel technology, which is delivering world record efficiency of 32.9%. That is insane. And we'll see those commercialized within the next two years. The cost of solar power has dropped by 93% after dropping significantly this year amidst a price war. A price war has been created. There's three big solar panel manufacturers in China. They're all, they're all basically trying to undercut each other to get more business. And keep in mind the reason they're able to do this. The cost of the materials that go into solar panels have come down by 40% this year. So the cost to manufacture solar panels has come down significantly. Of course, they're making more panels than ever. That also brings the price down. Moore's law in action there. Therefore, panel prices have come down enormously. So if you've gotten a quote recently or last year, get a quote again because it should be cheaper now. If it's not, there's something going on. You need to get it. I would recommend going to someone else. Anyhow, calculations by Berlin-based Mercator Research Institute on Global Commons and Climate Change found that the plummeting price of electricity produced by solar panels down 89% since 2013 means the transition to renewable energy sources is much cheaper than expected. We all knew this would happen, right? Many of you have been listening to Tony Sieber, Rethink X, other people who have been in this industry predicting things based on science, based on mathematics. It was obvious this was going to happen. It was simply a matter of time. And I personally believe the cost that you're seeing today, battery pack prices have come down 30% this year. Cell prices have come down approximately 30% as well. But I personally think you'll find the price for these renewable technologies in 10 years time will be half the cost of what they are today. Could be even less than that, but half at a base level. That will mean there's no way known that people will want to install fossil fuels or not just get rid of their existing fossil fuels because it's so cheap to move to an alternative that's so much cheaper. China's doing exactly that. In fact, China has set new records this year. It's installed a ridiculous amount of renewable energy. And people don't realize this, but it's installing renewable energy at the fastest pace it can. The falling cost of batteries and other renewable technologies could also help supercharge the trend towards cleaner energy and meeting climate targets. A lot of people believe we can't meet the climate targets. They believe we're all screwed. The world's going to heat up too much and the planet will be unlivable. I believe we can meet them and I believe we will meet them. Some calculations suggest that the world's entire energy consumption in 2050 could be completely and cost effectively covered by solar technology and other renewables such as wind, said Felix Kreutzig, who led the research, showing lately just how cheap renewables really are. This is an extremely optimistic scenario, but it illustrates that the future is open. Climate science, which provides policymakers with guidance in scenario models, must reflect technical progress as closely as possible. And recently, one of the ministers here in our Australian government said, the way for you to save money in your home is to install solar and get an electric car. They're saying, based on their mathematics, your energy bills would come down by more than 50% if you were to make this decision in 98% of locations in Australia. That applies to many places because 90% of the world's population live on the Sun Belt. 
The publication of this research follows recent analysis that showed the cost of batteries fell by 10% last month alone, but for this year in total, it's now 30%. Energy analytics from Benchmark Mineral Intelligence said the drop below $100 per kilowatt hour in August took batteries past a tipping point that puts electric vehicles on price parity with fossil fuel vehicles. But since then, the price came down an initial 15%. So in theory, it should be cheaper to make an EV now. It won't be because it takes a little while for these prices to filter down, but they will. And that's the reason why in China, manufacturers can make EVs at the same price as an internal combustion engine vehicle today as well as accelerating the transition to EVs. The fall in battery prices is also a big boost for renewable energy technologies like solar and wind installations, as they use batteries to store excess energy during periods of overproduction. And people who buy electric cars, they've also gone up nearly 30% this year, EV sales worldwide. The more EVs we sell, the more battery storage we have. The fall in cost for renewable technologies has been attributed to scientific breakthroughs that make them more efficient, as well as decreasing raw material costs. And also scale. The higher the scale, the cheaper it is to make the product. You can make smartphones today for peanuts. Greenhouse gas emissions are higher than ever, and the measures taken so far are too weak. But in this politically difficult situation, technological progress provides a ray of hope, said Jay Minx, head of the MCC Applied Sustainability Science Working Group and one of the leaders on this research. New scenario models, some of which are starting to be explored, are likely to demonstrate in the foreseeable future that the global climate transition might not be as expensive as previously assumed. In fact, it won't be, and may even be cost-saving, provided it is finally tackled. In fact, Oxford University, in combination with 200 engineers and climate scientists, said it would save the economy globally $10 trillion dollars to speed up its renewable energy transition. Since they made that statement, it has actually sped up significantly. The research I presented in this video was detailed in a study titled Technological Innovation Enables Low-Cost Climate Change Mitigation. This was published in the Journal of Energy Research and Social Science. So this isn't fake news. If you wanna believe that nuclear is gonna take over or that fossil fuels will kill us all, well, hopefully that won't happen based on this actual mathematics and science. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.